This is Lisa Allen and in this video I just wanted to show you a few other snippets you can use to get more information about your site or yourself into the organic search results. And I'm also going to give you a demo of a plugin that will add these to your posts automatically. Now if you go to the Google Rich Snippets testing tool again, which we're looking at here, and you click on the examples button, you'll see that there are many more types of rich data that can be added to your posts beyond just authors. For instance, under the applications example, we get this preview of an Android app complete with a star rating, number of votes, which is excellent social proof, the price, and the platform. Under events, the event name, dates, and locations can be given their own special format in the listings. And you see that these listings don't look like a normal listing. They're actually formatted slightly differently because Google recognizes that this is an event. And there are also special formats for music, as in this example, you can actually see the track names with links and the duration of the track and what album it came from. There are links for people, such as this LinkedIn profile, and this has different information. You can see what area he's from and what his job is, and sometimes if they filled it in, you can even see what company they work for. And then under products, you can see that products can be given a star rating and has a format for the number of reviews and the price and even some category information. Now recipes is a great one if you're building a recipe site or you're using recipes to draw people to your site. Perhaps you have a weight loss site and you are putting up a bunch of recipes that are special for the diet that people want to be on. Well the recipe snippets allow you to put a photo in there of the recipe, a rating, the number of reviews, how much time it takes to prepare, and even the calories. So they've each got their own special formats. And then, of course, there's a review format that you can do for restaurants or movies or books or just about anything you want to review. And again, you get the star rating that shows up in the listings and the percentage, how many votes, price range. And there are even some other ones that are not in this example tool yet. But the plugin that I wanted to show you is one that's coming out on the 18th. It's by Aravind and Jed Valentin. And Jed is a really awesome programmer. Uh, he's worked with Harlan Kilstein quite a bit. And uh, he's just an all-around great guy. I've had the opportunity to chat with him quite a bit on uh, some of the Facebook groups that we're in. So let me just switch over and show you the plugin that they're putting out. I think you're going to like it. So the plugin is called WP Snippets Magic. And that's just basically what it does is it puts in all the markup that is needed to make these particular types of rich markup work so that Google will put that information into the SERPs. And of course, as we know, the benefit of that is that you get more clicks. So just to show you how it works, let's add a new post. So I'm just going to start with my title. I'm just going to make this a fictional movie review post. And then if you scroll down, you can see that we've got all these options under WP Snippets Magic, and you can choose which kind of snippets you want on there. And you don't have to choose just one. You can choose several and it will put the data for all of them on there. So on this one, I'm just going to put in reviews. And it's really easy. You just click Enable to put the ones that you want into the post. Fill in the item name, the reviewer name, and give a short summary and a description. And then, of course, your rating. So for example, I might fill in a review about a movie this way with the title of the movie, the reviewer, and then this short little description about what the movie is of, and then maybe another little summary of the movie. And then I'd give it maybe a rating of, let's say, 3, and then I'd publish the post. So now let's just take our permalink. Let's go over to our tool, click Preview, and you can see here that I've got the post title, where it came from, and you've got the number of stars shown here visibly, rating three, who it was reviewed by, and the date. And of course, with any of the other types of snippets that you might want to include, the basic version of the plugin includes seven, and there's also a pro version, I believe, that it includes seven more. So it will have all 14 types that are possible right now included. And so let's just look at what's in, under people. You get the person name, their nickname, opportunity to add a photo. Now I don't think the photo actually shows up in the snippet tool yet, but it is in the specification. So in the future, Google might decide to use that. And you can have the city, the region. Affiliation means the company and the URL. Under products, it allows you to define the product name, the product image, the brand. You can even include 
an ISBN book number or a SKU or MPN stands for manufacturer part number. You can include the category that it belongs in, pricing, currency, how long those prices are good for, is it in stock, and who the seller is, a description, and a rating. And it also lets you tell how many reviews. And let's see, for the businesses, you get to do basically a business location. So the name, the street address. But I think probably the ones that most marketers are going to find the most useful would be the products, the reviews, the businesses, recipes, and also events would probably be very useful depending on what kind of marketing you're doing and for what business. So anyway, this is an awesome, awesome little plugin. And as I said, it's coming out on the 18th in the morning. So that's it for this video. And I will talk to you again soon.